All right, we're sitting here with Dr. Hashem at our clinic here in St. Petersburg. We just saw a round of 32 patients. It was unbelievable. We're pretty exhausted. But we want to touch or send a message out about cancer because we're seeing a big uptick in patients with cancer. I mean, obviously, cancer is a qualifying condition. However, it seems like people are getting more in tune with the fact that chemo kills more people than cancer, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Chem- Kill my mom and uh, wish I knew what I know now about things. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's talk about cancer. Um, cancer cells, uh, believe it or not, they have CBD receptors, cannabinoid receptors. Interesting. Yep. And so when uh, CBD binds to those uh, cannabinoid receptors, it does five things. It induces apoptosis. That means it turns on the genes to kill the cell. It also decreases hemangiogenesis, the development of blood vessels towards the cancer cells so that they get nutrients. It also stops a process called phagocytosis whereby the cell eats its own organelles to survive if it doesn't have any energy supplies so it causes the cancer cell to commit suicide it's nice huh wow. and then on top of that it decreases the likelihood of metastasis however if cancer cells metastasize they have these sticky little outer layers so they can stick to your normal cells it smooths that out and prevents that so hmm. there's five things that we know that uh, it does for prevent or for treatment of cancer so if you do have cancer you really want to be taking quite a bit of CBD uh, as one of your um, treatment options you want to saturate your body with kind of as much cannabis as possible to attack because the the thing is I mean you can take skin cancer is the easiest one right because you can apply it directly to the the cancer and you can see it actually happening but uh, when you have a pancreatic cancer a liver cancer or breast cancer uh, you have to saturate your body so that you, you know it's attacking from all angles, right? Well, yeah, and and let's face it, some of these cancers are not just isolated to that that organ; they're right. they're they're throughout the body. You, you and know, they so multiply. Very they, they multiply. And here's the other thing: even if you don't have cancer, let's think about this. How does cancer start? One cell or a billion? One. One. So if you're taking something that's preventive, mm-hmm. CBD, and prevents the cancer from growing, wouldn't you be better off? Yeah, I mean, preventative is really what we need to focus on because we're so busy treating. If we focus more on preventative, we wouldn't have to right. treat. So prevention <laughs> is the key. Right. So all, all our young listeners out there, yeah. really pay attention. Put yourselves on uh, CBD twice a day, every day. You'll be very happy. You'll see results. Uh, you'll feel better. Uh, and you'll know that you're giving yourself a quality product that is meant to be and meant to help you out. And yeah. that's why Big Pharma doesn't want, want us using this. Uh, big pharma, five hundred billion dollar industry a year. You know they're they're controlling the world, but uh, it's up to us to build awareness and and kind of unite as a society to to take stand and and, and make sure that we do something uh, at least by educating each other and making sure that we're well aware uh, before we decide which path to take, especially with treating cancer. Absolutely, absolutely. So okay. so I think it's a great product to use. Uh, uh, I use it every day. I encourage. I know Nick does. I just encourage my kids. All my, I got a 20, yeah. tw- 20 month old daughter at home. We give it to her every day in low, low doses, but uh, really helps with her teething. Uh, really helps with her sleep. I mean, I mean, my daughter's twenty months old and she's using the potty all by herself. I mean, she's oh, so wow. advanced. You're you know? lucky. It's unbelievable. I think yeah. I was twenty two before I was using the potty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you're still struggling with that. <laughs>